Hey everyone, um, one of the best ways to build rapport or trust in your local community and that way attract potential new customers to your business is to develop a strategy to get noticed in your local market. So for example, you provide services in Solano County, right? Well, you obviously concentrate your marketing or efforts in cities within the county for, um, or if you leave for, or if you provide or sell products in Fairfield, right? And you are just focusing on that market for the city of Fairfield, then obviously you will focus your marketing strategies on, on the city of Fairfield. So getting your name out in the nearby communities can go a long way towards building that trust that um, will will cause that business, the local community get to know you and like you and trust you, right? But also be able to get to open new, new opportunities. However, not all strategies are created equal, uh, especially when talking about smaller markets. So today we're going to be talking about what is the best way to make your business to be noticed in a small local market. Hi, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing agency in Solano County called Digital Track. And you can check out information on my website, digitaltrack.co, uh, reference free resources that I have available there. But also stay tuned, right? Send me a message if you're interested or text me. Uh, my number will be on my website about a something that a lot of you have been asking me, uh, a free course and reference to um, you know, the stuff that I do for business owners locally over here to help them attract more local customers and how to keep them coming back. So I'm going to, I'm putting a workshop together for that. Um, hoping to release it here in about two weeks. I'm, a, I'm about halfway done with the presentation. So stay tuned if you're interested to know more about that. Or if by the time you're watching this video, I'm sure you're probably you're going to see the link below somewhere. If not, just post a comment and ask me about that workshop. All right, so today we're going to be talking about 10 methods of getting, oh, well, for getting, sorry, 10 methods for getting your business notice and attract more local customers. So number one, be everywhere online. I, I cannot stress that enough nowadays, right? Especially because everybody's on the freaking mobile device, right? Uh, so create and claim and update all local business listing and profiles that are important to your local area but also important to your industry by this local li listings, what i mean is um online directory sort of what the yellow pages book used to be now there are several of those local directories that are online that have a very strong presence in influencing the results when people are looking for something so you want to have your business listed there um and in, 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 in in all the places that make sense, right? Not, not everywhere, but all the places that make sense for your area and for your industry. Also, your website, be sure to, besides your website, make sure to maintain and keep updated your uh, Google My Business profile, uh, your Facebook page, um, and any other site that offers local profile for your industry. And the reason why is because a lot of people, those searches, uh, like this, right? They, they do something like uh, the name of the city and a service. So, for example, plumbers in Fairfield, plumbers Fairfield, California, or, or uh, electric electricians Fairfield, California, right? They do searches like that, and so having the your business ha, put having those keywords within their profile or your or your business website will help um, the browsers or search engines to identify what your business is about and where is it located, how far, how close are you to this uh, person that is doing that search, right? Um, so ensure they, they see you everywhere. Now, that will build trust and authenticity to your business. Now, number two, put a face to your company, right? So in a small local market, we are part of a community. Your company can stand out even more when you put your face in into your company or product. Uh, people have an easier time to remember faces. So uh, if you, even if you're not well looking, right, people will have a, a easier time to remember your face, especially if they see you out, out there in the community. Uh, they like to see what's behind the curtain. Uh, the more you, you do that, the more trust you build, the more likely they, they'll buy from you. Uh, so make sure to get out of the community, introduce yourself, interact with others, 
if you put local ads, consider either adding your photo to, to the advertising. Number three, giveaway samples. Now, obviously, this is not something that could be possible for everybody, but if you can find a way to do so, go ahead and do so, right? In a small local market, I find it that giving away free samples is a great way for people to test what you have, right? And how wonderful it can be to them. Uh, for example, I have a local client that is a restaurant and some of the things that they do is they visit events that are specific to their market, right? They could be a community event and stuff like that or food event. And what they do is obviously they bring food uh, and they cut that food into small little chunks of the sample so that way it can be distributed to a, a lot more people. Uh, and also they distribute coupons with, uh, with that, right? And they print out I, if you want a simple way to print out coupons, hit me up. This is a great strategy that I find out. But they, they print out simple coupons, like, like the size of business cards, uh, an offer or something like a free soda, soda if you buy a meal or five dollar discount if you buy twenty five or more on food or products. Right, simple things like that that you give the sample of for food. You can ask them, do you like it? Right, if you like it and you're local, uh, go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take five dollars off on us right of your next visit when you purchase 25 dollars or more um so simple things like that and then just rinse and repeat right especially if you have the the capacity of the people uh, that can, can help you do that uh number four volunteer for the long haul so the best way to be noticed in a small community is to be a great community member be present support causes that matter to you and that make impact over the long haul, uh, especially if, let's say, finances, it's, uh, it's something, it's a cause that, it, that matters to you, finances, like uh, family finances, right? How to, how to empower families by teaching them strategies about managing their money. If that's um, something that, is, that is, uh, uh, has a great impact on you, that, that you feel like, you have a passion to accomplish that then obviously right those are there's tons of organizations you can volunteer that are related to that uh and they'll see you as an authority figure if you for example uh, are provide business professional services how about you volunteering to organizations or non-profit organizations that um are related to business right to provide in some type of uh, uh workshops or information to business owners so for example there's i'm sure you can google a lot there's uh solano sbdc it's one that you can become an advisor and be able to provide workshops but also provide one-on-one -on -one consultation another one here in the area that i just recently heard about is pacific community ventures i think that's the name i'm sure you can google something like pacific community ventures and uh they also they 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 uh, you can come in as a mentor or you can look for uh, to be a, a mentee, right? So you can look for mentorship or you can come in to be a mentor. And so with it, whichever option you decide, let's say you you an expert on a specific area and you can become a mentor, um, et cetera. There's so many ways, right? How you can volunteer, especially in things that will help you get noticed and you have a passion for it. Uh, so number five, encourage reviews from existing customers. This is a big one. Uh, what steps are you taking to gather feedback from your existing audience? And if you're not leveraging them as part of your solution, then you're missing out on opportunities to be seen and heard in your local community. Because let's face it, a lot of people, what they do is they they ask around to their friends and family, but also they, they go into their mobile device, especially the younger genera generation. I know I do, I do this a lot because obviously I don't, I don't go and simply talk to call my friends and ask them about specific plays or product or services around the area, right? I can simply go do on my own. It takes me about a few seconds to pull the information on, on my phone about a specific place. It would be on Facebook or Google or Yelp, for example, and what other people are talking about that place, that business. Uh, that's all I need to do. And so people love to search review before trying something new, right? Before buying a product, before, uh, buying a service, uh, doing businesses, you name it. And if you don't have any reviews to your name, it's time to encourage them, um, 
the your customers to help you out with that. One of the ways that we encourage that with our, our, my clients is that we put systems in place, right? Put systems in place to where we follow up people that uh, like to hear from us, that subscribe to hear from us or from my clients. We put systems in place to follow up with them, to ask them, have you tried it, right? Uh, or if we ever, we, we cannot run a perfect business, but if you ever do something wrong, please feel free to reach out to to me directly and put a phone number, etc. Or in another follow up, it could be something like if have you get a chance to visit us to visitors. If so, what do you like best? And would you like please, um, if we make an impact, if we provide a great experience, would you please share, um, by simply replying to this email or giving the links to your Google profiles or Facebook profile or Yelp, whatever you place you are constant you want to concentrate into getting reviews then that's um something that you can ask for or put a link to the place specific locations uh number six send out communications right so try to use as many channels as possible so if you work with a lot of business uh customers in the past make sure to stay connected to them right grab the information and keep it don't throw it away that's that's an asset to your business i can believe there's a um, business i was working with recently and i asked do you have any contact of your prior customers and they say no i don't i don't keep uh, records of my clients and i'm like yes that's um a good way to protect security of your clients but you know what uh technology is so um makes it accept so accessible nowadays for small business owners to keep it secure but at the same time make sure that you don't lose that information because let's face it you you we depend on each other, right? As a community, as a small community, a small market community. And so if you have that information handy, uh, why not leverage it? But anyways, in reference to sending out communications, um, you, you can try different channels to stay in contact with them. Let them know what's going on. They can be the first one to know if there's going to be something exciting coming up, right? And, and these channels, what... I mean by that is, for example, emails, newsletters, or, or email, right, as a channel. Also, another channel could be texting, right? There's several tools that can help you put the information, upload the information, uh, phone numbers of clients or people that subscribe it to hear from you via uh, and provided the phone number that you can use to send mass texts, right? Uh, other tools could be messages on Facebook or Instagram, for example, so etc. Like so many channels you can use nowadays, but uh, try to at least start with using one. Um, number seven, attend to local events. So local events like conferences, trade fairs, and markets or chambers of commerce, things that are uh, related to your where your audience, your perfect market audience is at, where your perfect customers hang, hangs out, right? To try to attend those events. Uh, they provide a good way for small business to get noticed in the community. Uh, they can personally interact with you, right? Because you're there, you, you can start building a trust. Number eight, distribute flyers and or buy local ad space. Yes, uh, preach every day uh, digital marketing, right? Digital advertising, but if you, uh, let's fix it, right? Flyers, local ads, that's, that's great for a small local market because uh, it's an easy way to get people to get more information, especially if you are out there all the time. Plus, if you combine, if you do this in an effective way, right, let's say you distribute flyers or buy local ad space, and then people want to do some more research to you and you properly set up um, tracking codes within your website, meaning people that do research and they are logging on Facebook or Google, uh, your website is going to have Google or Facebook keeping track of who visits your website, right? And what that's going to help you with is create a follow-up process, right? Uh, you probably ask yourself, well, how do I, f how, how my Google or Facebook know who to follow up? Well, it's something called remarketing, but let's not dive in into that any further. Just, it's, 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 it's a great strategy that if you're going to use offline marketing, right? Print marketing, um, that you also prepare your website so that it, it it's able to gather information from people visiting okay and i'm not just gathering but be able to if you want to run an ad to be able to follow up with those people that visited your website interested on a specific information or interested on your website in general 
Number nine, create helpful videos. So instead of um, um, going and creating advertising that is just about uh, sales, 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 right? How about creating some helpful videos for your community that position us, position you as someone of of value? You can still create a um, a, a sales process with that, right? You you put something of value, and then within the video, at the beginning of the video, or at the end of the video, uh, you can provide an offer or tell me what to do next. So, for example, in the beginning of this video, I asked you if you would be interested on. Um, Checking out some of the, my free resources, you can go home and check out my web, website. Or if you are interested on the free workshop that I will have coming up, explaining the same exact process I do for my for my client, then you can. It's not ready, right? I don't have a page yet up, but if you watch this video before that's ready, you can simply uh, text me or email me. Go to my website, digitaltrack.co, and that's a way for you to stay on the know. Right when that inform when that workshop comes out, so that's a way to create helpful video. But at the same time, you will still be able to promote yourself in the, in a way. It's just um, um, you are being helpful in the beginning, right? Truly, truly helpful. Uh, and then this these videos that you come out that are, that are put out that are helpful, you can simply put some money behind it, right? And 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 so. That money behind in advertising, what it's gonna do is basically it's gonna help you um, research faster, right? Research faster because you push in the information out to people in the in in your market, where you're gonna get feedback a lot quicker, right? If you just leave the video there, especially like on Facebook, Facebook is not gonna show it to a lot of people. But if you put some money behind it, which doesn't have to be a lot, you're gonna get some feedback. Is the information gonna be helpful to my local community? Um, etc. And, and number 10, last but not least, embrace branding. So in many cases, small local businesses are more likely to be relaxed and not focus on, as heavily on brand identity. If you want to stand out from everyone else, then you need to identify your brand identity and stick with as your company evolves. Meaning, what you want to be known, right? What you want your legacy to be known for? What you want your company to be known for? There's, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> for example, there's tons, there's tons of um, plumbers out there. But what makes you unique, right? As a plumber, why would we choose you? Or there's tons of dentists out there, right? But why would we pick one dentist over another one? So what's your brand identity? And embrace it, right? Uh, once you become known locally, it's only a matter of time until you have a recognizable brand on your hands. So hopefully this information will help you. We cover a lot today, but again, check out my website, digitaltrack.co, if you want to find resources or get information about um, what works the workshop that I have coming up, right? About teaching you the all the process that I use with my clients. So you perhaps you can apply with your client for your own business. And uh, if you have any questions reference to the topics that we discussed today or any other topics you would like me to cover, uh, just leave in the comment section below. Um, help out the community by asking questions. All right, have a good one. Bye.